In this example, we're going to look at the cosine rule to find a missing angle. Now, in this question, to work out the missing angle, we require all three sides on the triangle. You can see in question one here, or example one, all three sides are needed in the same with the red triangle and the, the blue triangle, the purple triangle. Now, in the formula sheet, you'll, two, you'll see the two formulas separately, but one's just a rearrangement of the other one. The proof is shown here. I mean, feel free to have a look at it. You don't require to be able to regurgitate this proof in an exam. You won't have to do that, but that's just to show you where it comes from. It's basically rearranging this top formula to get the one below. So let's look at that in practice. Again, in the exam sheet, formula sheet, you'll see the formula using A's, B's and C's. You will have to be able to use values on your triangle or letters on your triangle. If it's, for example, if it's P's, Q's and R's or D's, E's and F's. Again, the easiest way I find is to look at the A at the front and you get an A at the back and the B, C's are in the middle. Okay, so let's have a look at our triangle and we're asked to calculate the size of angle A, B, C. Now that means the angle at B because B is in the centre here. So we're really looking at this angle. So our formula has to start with the cos of B. So cos of B equals, so in the formula sheet you've got an A at the start and an A at the end. So we want a B at the end, or a B squared at the end. That means the other two values are A and C, and that's your formula. After you've done that, you just fill in the values. So cos of B equals A squared. Now, if you look at your diagram, A is 4, plus C squared, that's 6 squared, take away 3 squared, which is down there. And you have to divide that by 2 times 4. And if we look at the diagram again, C is 6. Now, if you type it like this into your calculator with the brackets and divide, that will work it all out. I mean, some people work out the top line, then they work out the bottom line, then they do a, a separate division. That's entirely up to you. But you can do this all at once, like that line there. So that gives an answer of 0 0.8958 and so on. Now to undo cos, you inverse cos to work out the angle. This is not the angle. Some people leave this answer, 0 0.8958. That angle is not 0 0.89 degrees. So we inverse cos. And this, I would leave it in your calculator and just inverse cos. And you get 26.4 degrees. And again, because you've done unit 3, you should know there's a second solution if you subtract from 360, but we don't need to include that because you would never get an angle in this triangle of 300 and something degrees. That's because all the angles in a triangle only add up to 180, so one of the angles cannot be 300 and something degrees. So that's your answer, 26.4 degrees.